Hello guys and gals, and we're going to be opening this up. It's um, still in its original shrink wrap. It is World of Warcraft Tribute. Now we're not going to read it, per se. I am I know better than that. Um, but this is, uh, we're just going to uh, flip, flip through it. Um, as you can see from the back, um, this book retails for $45. And yes, I will open it up. I was like, oh, this is also a video game art book. So, um, yeah, we're just going to take a look at it. We're not going to look at every page. Um, we're just going to maybe look at some highlights. And I've never actually looked inside this book. I'm going to find a way to open this without damaging the book. But um, we shouldn't have too much trouble in that regard. But, yeah, um, I didn't pay $45 for this. I don't think I even paid, like, 15 or anything like that. I think I got it for, like, maybe 10 from a um, warehouse, um, a warehouse outlet, an online um, book outlet, and I can put that link in the description below to um, Edward R. Hamilton Bargain Books, and that's where I get most of my books. I know there's a, a, a retail price on these for a reason because they expect to sell them at that price, but um, I usually get my books at a discount, a, a severe discount, or at a, like a thrift store. But yeah, this is an original shrink wrap, and um, I'm trying to find a way, a, a seam or something that I can actually open this. Um, this probably isn't good for this cord, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to damage the book. Again, this is by Udon Entertainment, which is the same... Okay, let's see. Because this is um, Inside Editions. I'm pretty sure that on the back, though, it did mention Udon. I think. This is just for my own. Maybe not. I was thinking that Udon was the same one that did this, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, actually, while I was going through stuff, I also found... Um, it's completely unrelated. Found this book. It's all rights reserved, so I'll probably be reading it. The Little Giant Book of Whodunits, but we won't be doing that in this episode. We're going to find a way to open this up. And um, I'll continue the video when I actually succeed. I have an idea, though. I'm going to use a pen cap. Pen cap should not damage the book at all. That's just an old trick I used to use. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to get this opened up, and then we'll continue from there. Pin caps are pretty wonderful. Uh, I better put it back on before I lose it. I've lost lots of pin caps before because I neglected to put them back on the pin. Okay, so we got we took care of that. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, pull the plastic off now. And this is an official World of Warcraft product, and I will read in here under the copyright information and see if I could possibly read this one. Usually it'll say, oh, do not re rebroadcast or stuff like that, but anyways, there. Okay, there's all the plastic. And, uh, yeah, my hands are clean. I wanted to make sure of that, too. Starting off with this beautiful, that's Night Elf, I believe. Art. And, uh, oh, I recognize her. I don't remember, though. Um, I think that's actually a Hunter tier set. I don't know. This is presented by um, Yudan and the, and the Denizens of Azeroth. Again, I'm not going to um, go too heavily into this. Uh, art director. This is a... But again, we're not going to read this, like, for real. Now, I do know Samwise Didier. Um, he is in the, um, the, the Torrent Chieftains band, I'm pretty sure. But he's also the art director. Um, uh, the, there's, um, Kevin Merriman. That name sounds familiar, too. And Sergey. Kanzalev? 
maybe they they helped come up with these um, races. Oh, <laughs> I like the, the 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 whimsical art style. Uh, Jeroen Kellowin. Um, I'm sorry if I'm if I'm butchering these names. I'm not very good with names. Cayo Montero. He's from Brazil. He's an illustrator. Oh, and this ha this has their um their websites. Okay, we we'll definitely I might actually link all these. Um oh, <laughs> I love that. Uh he's an illustrator. Oh, that 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 art style makes me giggle. It, it it's good. It's an it's a, it's a wonderful art style. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not dissing anything. This is beautiful. Um actually um I'm trying to get to the um, stuff to see if I can actually do this. I might actually risk it. I mean, a copyright strike isn't the end of the world, but I just want to make sure that I do right by everybody. Okay, um, okay, this is awesome. I think this is basically going over the different people in here. Um, yeah, it is. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if I'm speeding through all these. I'm looking for something particular. Um, uh, I think this book is going to make me sneeze. I can smell the ink and it, it, it's going to make me sneeze. Um... Oh, here we go. Uh, any similarities? Uh, it says all rights reserved. Okay, well, guys, you know what? If this says all rights reserved, I mean, it's not saying don't do it. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're only seven minutes in. I'm going to blow my nose because this ink, the ink is making me sneeze. I don't know what kind of ink they use, but it, it's going to make me sneeze. Um, we're going to go through this book. All the way, but um, just let me blow my nose and um, uh, let me get used to the smell of this ink. Ugh. But it's not that it smells bad; it's just a certain. I have an allergy to certain to certain inks, and um, it's really kicking up right now. Um, but yeah. So it's seven minutes in, and let's get this started the right way. Um, it says all rights reserved, and I'm going to to count on that. I'm going to highlight that. World, this is World of Warcraft tribute, and um, so yeah, this is an official World of Warcraft product, and um, so yeah, we are going to um, go over this book page by page, and uh, presented by Blizzard Entertainment, Udon Entertainment, and the Denizens of Azeroth. Okay, I'm making sure these pages are extra thick, but anyways, here we go. Um, okay, this is the forward. I just finished exploring my collection of artwork you're about to see, and I'm blown away by the passion and talent on display in these pages. As an artist on the World of Warcraft team, one of the most rewarding parts of the job is watching a particular character or part of the world we've created resonate with players when it comes back to back around in the form of fan art. That's evident of so much. Oh, that's evident of so much more that it hasn't just resonated but inspired. Seeing the influence of our artists reflected in the creative world, the, the creative works of our players is just plain awesome. It's also incredibly cool to see people tapping the world, uh, the, the Warcraft universe, to share their experience within it, using art as a medium for telling their own stories, putting yourself out there, not just with your art, but with your stories, tales, some, uh, oh, takes some guts, and I applaud every artist in this book for taking that step. Talk to any artist on our team, and they'll tell you tales of the comics, books, and movies that motivated them, that motivated them and helped them hone their craft. We're in a place now where World of Warcraft has become a source of inspiration itself. Looking through this collection, I'm struck by the thought that any of these artists could one day be helping us create the next the next corner of the of the Warcraft universe that sparks the creativity of a whole new generation. I hope to, I hope you enjoy this book as much as I have. Chris Ro Robinson, World of Warcraft, 
art direct director, Blizzard Entertainment. And now we have Samwise Didier. Now, um, Samwise Didier is very well known. Um, not only as an artist, but also as, I think, one of the voices of the the uh, the Torrin Chieftains. I forget their full name. I'm sorry. It's been ages since I played. But um, California USA, an art director. And this, this is basically the cover image. It's gorgeous. Now, um, I'm not sure how long this video is going to go. But, um, okay. First off, we have... And again, um, if there are links, I will be putting these in um, in the description. And I know that's going to take a while and be quite a dedication, but I believe it, this is warranted. Okay, this is um, Kevin Merriman, California, USA. Um, sorry. Um, that's the, that's the, the website, and I'll put it down. He's an art person. Uh it says um, matriarchy daki dot disney infinity dot forever dot famicom. Okay, so he actually works with Nintendo too, then, because Famicom was at the original Nintendo system. Okay, now we have oh, and I love that art, love that art style. Isn't that beautiful? Now you see um, the quality is not going to be very good, and that's probably going to help me avoid a copyright strike. If you actually want to see these pictures up close in all their glory, you're going to need to get a copy of the book yourself. And the the link the, the site I'm going to link should probably have some of the copies of the book left, but um I don't know. Anyways, here we have Sergey um, Konsolov. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. I'm terrible with Russian, and it isn't a slight at all. I just um with names I really have trouble with names, and I, and I apologize. I'm going to um link this in the description. All it says is um Sergey. Konzalov, uh, Russia. Russia is a beautiful country, by the way. I just love the horses that you have up there. Uh, it, it, he's an artist and a designer, and I will be putting that in the description, that link. Next we have, and this is basically uh, where we stopped before. Um, I love this art style, by the way. Um, we have Jeroen. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, I'm, I'm sorry if this butchers your, butchers your name. Uh, Jeroen Kolowich? Kolowin. We'll say um, Kolowin. I'm not sure with um, Finnish. I'm sorry. I have a friend that lives actually in the Netherlands or um, in Finland. And um, so maybe I can talk to her about how you pronounce names. But anyways, this says the Netherlands. Um, concept artist. And um, Kohi Kori 2 for Wii U. And that's awesome. And again... Um, these descriptions and link these links will appear in the description. Now we have Kayo. I'm going to say Kayo. Or Kayo. Uh, Montero. Kayo Montero. And look at this this realism here. Isn't this beautiful? This is this is just real realism. And it says that this person is an illustrator in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Brazil is beautiful. Kudos to um, living there. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put um, this description in the link, too. And this is going to take forever. But um, it's totally worth it to give everyone props. Um, now we have here... Um, this is beautiful, by the way. Gerardo Alba from Mexico. I have a friend from Mexico who actually lives in New York currently. And this is, a, this is an illustrator. And his link is going to be in the description as well with his name. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that this will um, assuage anything, any negative things that might happen. Uh, now we have Harry Villamir. I'm going to say Villamir. Harry Villamir uh, from Colombia. And that's his um, link, and he's an art director. Or she, uh, Harry. It's a guy, probably. I know you should never assume gender. They. I will have their, their link in the description as well. Um, okay. Now we have um, someone else from Brazil, it looks like. And this is art by... Okay, sorry. I know there's a glare here. Um, oh, sorry. And then they're, they're, my camera just uh, took a little bit of a turn there. Uh, this is 
by uh, Jonathan Chung Yung Shang. Uh, again, I apologize if I've mispronounced your name. Feel free to tell me about it in the comments. I won't make that same mistake again. Um, an illustrator from Brazil, and this link will be in the, in the description with all the others. And now we have Georgina Ch Cacon. I'm going to say that's Cacon because CH makes the ca sound. So Cacon. Um, in Mexico, this is a visual artist. Um, Studio 13. And this is beautiful, by the way. We're going to just zoom in on different elements of the picture. But I love the details, and that description, that link will be in the description below. Now we have um, Jan. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to do, do my very best to pronounce this, but it's probably going to come out... Um, a, I don't know. Jan Kuchin um, from Beijing City, China. Uh, concept artist. Um, lineage, lineage Aeon and Project M. And this, this link is going to be in the description as well. Now we're going to move on to um, someone from Romania. Beautiful art, by the way. I just love this art. Um, Bazavan Ioan, John B., uh, a freelance illustrator. Isn't that... That's awesome. I mean, to have, a, have the picture of a freelance illustrator in this book, that's amazing. Now, we have... Um, we're only on page 16. Oh, here we go. This is beautiful. This is by Hugo Tuz or Tuze. Tuz. Oh, we're going to say Tuz. Hugo Tuz goes by the name Eisenhera, uh, is an illustrator. And again, I'm going to put the name here because I probably butchered it. Not, again, um, not intentionally. I, some of these names are really hard for me to pronounce, and I apologize. Now, we have a picture here of the Lich King, and that's, um, oh, man. What's her name? This the Frost Dragon. Oh. I've done, I've run ICC so many times, I don't, and I know her name. I don't remember it, but um, she's in the background, too, looks like. Um, <sighs> Emerart goes by the name Emerart in Michigan, just north of me, actually. Uh, a fantasy illustrator. And you can actually see the fantasy elements with the uh, dragon in the background. And um, it's beautiful. Uh, that link here, any link that are on the pages, are going to end up in the description. And um, so, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is nice. I've seen, this is kind of an anime style. I, I really like this. This is by... David Co Cousins. I'm going to pronounce that Cousins, and I apologize if that's wrong, because it looks a lot like it would be pronounced Cousins. I'm not familiar with the British translation. Uh, from England. Uh, he's a lead, lead illustrator. Um, cool Surface Limited is the company. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be, be um, putting the link in the description. This Gordon... Okay, here's Gordon McMillan. Uh... Tennessee, USA, Illinois. I tell uh, blah, blah 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 blah. I can't talk. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Ah, get my tongue loosened up. Okay, this is a this is a, this is art by Gordon McMillan, uh, t from Tennessee, United States. Um, and um, he's an illustrator and, and an author, and he's also for Scout. I think Scout is probably like a company or something. Gordon McMillan. Next we have... I'm sorry. Uh, this name is going to come out kind of... I don't know how this name is going to come out. Um, this is beautiful. You see, what I love, what I really, really love is the... Um, like going to a, a, a Chinese restaurant and seeing, you know, the, the murals that are like this, you know, that have the, the oriental feel to them. And this is beautiful. This is by... Jean Guo, maybe? 
Jean, is that pronounced Jean? I'm not sure how, how you pronounce it, but Jean Guo, breathing, uh, from China. He's an architect, and or they are an architect and an illustrator. And with art like that, I can see why it's beautiful. Their link will be in the description. Anyways, um, we also have, uh, okay, wait. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss a page. These pages, it's easy to miss. Okay. Now we have um, Angela Way. I think it's pronounced Way. Angela Way. Um, from Oh. I knew someone named Angela down that, that lived down in New Zealand, and I thought this might be her work, but it probably isn't. Angela Way. Uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Beautiful country. Never been there. By her, they really like sheep. So, it's probably a good country if you, if you like sheep. Anyone who likes sheep is a good person. Anyways, uh, and it says their occupation is a student. And that's their, um, that's their, that's their link. It will be in the description if you want to check out more of their art. Now, this is, um, oh wow, this is beautiful. Okay, uh, this is Arun Nina, Arun Nina, uh, or M. Hazaru, M. M. Hazaru, M. Ha M. Hazaru um, is an illustrator from the United States, and that link will be in the description as well. I'm writing a check I probably can't cash, but I, w I definitely want to honor all of these different artists. Anyways, here we have Garrett Willem. Well, it looks almost like Williams. I'm going to say it's Williams, though it probably isn't. Again, I'm sorry if I butcher the name. Garrett Williams from the Netherlands. Um, a 2D artist. Special thanks to um, Martin Williams. And then this link will be in the description as well. It's really nice. That we're probably gonna have to do this in actually two things because putting all these descriptions down is gonna take up a lot of space in the in the description, and um, I want to do all these artists justice. Oh, here's another one by Garrett Williams. I always did love Northrend, and uh, and all the lore with the giants that was always really cool. Um, Garrett Williams from the Netherlands, 2D artist, and special thanks to. Martin Williams, and um, then that that's, that link's going to be in the description too. Well, actually, it won't because it's the same. It'll be the same link as the previous one. So yeah, as long as they get a, a mention. Anyways, now this is beautiful. Now there's someone who drew a tauren, and that's good. I always I I think they were like my favorite species. You know, I mean my favorite race. Anyways, now we have um, Miko Kato, Miko Kato. Uh, from um, Helsinki, Finland, and it's a game artist. They are a game artist, and that link will be in the description as well. Um, now we have Chen Ji. I think that that J I E is pronounced G, but I'm not sure. Or Chen Jai. Uh, Chen Ji. We're gonna say Chen Ji. And if I'm sorry if I'm wrong, um, this says okay. We're gonna get a better look at this. this the lighting, even the even the sparkle on that glass, that's beautiful. And so Chinji is from China. Uh, game is they're a game artist, and it says four three nine nine, and I'm not sure what that is, but it might be like a um, a business name. Anyways, and now we have um, oh blood elf, that's cool. Jean Cheng, Jean Cheng from China. Who is an illustrator, and those those um, links will be in the description. Now we have um, Sheng Fan. Oh, that's beautiful right there, Sheng Fan. That's um, de a Deathwing. Anyways, uh -oh. so this is um, Sheng Fan from China, and who, who's also an illustrator, and that link will be in the description as well. This is, we're going to let this go on for about six more minutes, then um, I will probably just make another video.
because um, this is getting to be a bit excessive to put all these descriptions into, into the, I mean, all these links into the description. And I'm happy to do that. Anyways, next we have, um, oh, I just love this, um, this um, traditional Chinese or Oriental style. Okay, it says, um, here is, um, um, I know that the, the, the last word is yawn, but, um, sh shui, maybe shui yawn? Um, or, I don't read that, but Mr. or something. Anyways, um, the illustrator, and it says, Lu Yan Yan. Oh, and there is no there is no link here. Okay, if there was a link, I would have put it in the in the description, but there is no link. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is neat. This is a person from Uruguay. Here in the states, we'd say Uruguay, but it's Uruguay. Um, who's an illustrator, a colorist, designer, and um, again. Oh, this is beautiful. That's Lady Vash. That's um, Kaothos. I think that's um, you know it's been too long since I played, but this is this is beautiful. Okay, and that that link right there is um, going into the um, the description. Anyways, um, now we have Rainer, I think that's pronounced right, Rainer Petter, Rainer Petter, from Brazil. It says, Illustrator. That link will be in the description as well if you want to check out more of their art. Now, we have Claudia Anai Macias. Now, I do have a background in Mexican. I, I don't remember much of my Mexican, but... But I took um, four years of like uh, Spanish, Mexican Spanish in school, so I should be able to pronounce this. Claudia Anai Macias from Chihuahua, Mexico, is an illustrator, and that's beautiful. That link will be in the description below. Oh, I like this. The realism. That's beautiful. Also, I like that set. I had that tier set back when I played. Um, this is um, Francisco Mendez from Chiapas, Mexico, and he's an illustrator. His information will be in the description below if you want to check out more of his art. And we have um, uh, I don't know how to say this. I'm going to say this the best I can, but I don't know anything about China, or the Chinese tongue, or how to say anything in Chinese, but, um, Zikwang Wu, Zikwang Wu, an illustrator, from Beijing, China. Now, if there was a link there, it would be in the, in the description, but there is no link, sadly. But that's beautiful art. Gnomes are always fun. Okay, and now we have Julia Grumpt. From um, Strasbourg, Germany, who's an illustrator. And that link will be in the description. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. These are um, gnomes. Beautiful. And this is by Ramses. Ramses. I'm going to say Ramses, but it's probably more like Ramses. But um, it's from um, Shenzhen, China, and they're an illustrator. I do hope they're doing okay. Uh, here's um, Do Do We, maybe? Do We? Um, I, I forget what, um, what how, how you pronounce that. I think it's pronounced We. Duwa. No, it's, I think it's pronounced Wa. Duwa. China. Okay, that's beautiful, by the way. Um, there's a link there. They're an art editor and an illustrator. That's wonderful. And I'm, I checked. This is, there's nothing inappropriate showing here. 
So um, this is by Jesse Lee, who lives in California, uh, and they're a student. Beautiful. They've got a bright future ahead of them. Uh, again, anytime there's a dis- there's a link, I mean, anytime there's a link, it'll be in this. It'll be reflected in the in the description. Uh, we will do two more of these, and then we'll probably stop. We made it to page forty. We'll we'll start on page forty two, just because. Hey, forty two is the the secret word of, or whatever. The secret of the universe is uh, number 42. Anyways. Okay. This is, um, we're going to look at this real quick. Okay, this is mostly goblins. And the goblin is, ugh, mother. The goblins are a, a wonderful race. I never played a goblin. I always wanted to, but I never got around to it. I usually played Wargen. But anyway. Uh, this is by, oh, here. This is by um, Gonzalo Jose Heredia. Campo, known as Gonzo, with two Z's, uh, from Campeco, Mexico, and the graphic, they are a graphic designer and into advertising. That link will be in the, in the description below. And now we have Luhao. I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Luhao, from China, um, who is an architect and an illustrator. And we have King Varian Nguyen. Right there. Beautiful. Uh, okay. But yeah. Anyways, with that, we're going to end this video. I know it started off kind of strange, but I found out that I could actually do this. And I've got a lot, a lot of work ahead of me, you know, to actually upload this because I've got 42 pages of, um, of links to put in, which is fine. I'm happy to do it. But that being said... Uh, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell, and we will continue this at another time. Um, but yeah. I need something to um, replace um, the World of Warcraft cookbook, and so hey, let's do this. And I think it says all rights reserved, so I should be able to be do what I'm doing. Again, okay, if there is a copyright issue, just let me know and I'll take the video down. And uh, with that being said, I appreciate all the support. If you want to support me in any way, and all the all the links to all the art you've seen in here will be in in the description. But with that being said, thanks again everyone for watching, and have a great day.